are in the study gallery at the headquarters of the DAR. Uh, this is a new space here at the headquarters where we have separated the permanent collection from our exhibition space. So previously in the old museum gallery, what we had was a mix of permanent collection and temporary exhibitions down the middle of the space. And when we had changing exhibitions, when an exhibition would close or open, we would have to close the entire space to prepare it for the new exhibition. And that, that kept visitors from getting into the museum to see any portion of of the permanent collection on display. So part of the intention of the new renovations was to allow visitors to see permanent collection unimpeded from exhibitions, but also to allow visitors to see more. So in this new space, we have over a thousand square feet of display space, uh, cases, drawers, cabinets, vitrines, all sorts of opportunities for visitors to come look at a variety of objects in the collection. In other museum exhibits, what we often try to do is have interpretive labels associated or adjacent to the objects. But what we have here in the study gallery are just the object ID numbers, and that allows us a few more opportunities to put out uh, additional objects that we probably couldn't put out before because those interpretive labels take up so much space. And not having the interpretive labels allow the curators here in the museum to uh, quickly update records and put out more objects. Through the doors at the back of the study gallery is our main gallery, and in there we have our changing exhibitions. And those objects in there do have your traditional interpretive text. There are uh, your traditional means of, of viewing objects. You can walk up to a case and see some of the objects that are displayed. Uh, some of them are grouped by their materials or by their um, by their categories. So we have furniture in a case, we have costume textiles in a case, we have silver in a case, but we also have drawers that you can pull out and view objects, specific objects, a little more closely and actually do research on those objects here in the gallery. So you can look at that object uh, and take the object ID number that's pinned next to it over to one of our computers and look up that object and find out more details about it. So it's a very interactive space and uh, it, it allows for a lot of opportunities to learn more. And what's also great about it, it's, it's very easy to change out. So these objects will rotate out and new objects will come in uh, every year. So when visitors come back, if you come, uh, if you come to DC once a year, come to the headquarters once a year, you'll be able to see something new every time you come here now.